Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering what is going on with your eyes. I got the Midnight Voyage palette from Pat McGrath. It's a little mini, so I couldn't help myself because the price was right. Pat McGrath, if you don't know already, is a very successful makeup artist and her products are quite pricey. So it was really nice to see that she had a mini that I could play with. I do have a couple of her large palettes, but I am a makeup lover and a little bit of a collector, so I had to get them. But for the everyday woman that just is looking for something fun to play with, this is perfect. It's not a ton of money out of your bank account and it's Pat McGrath. Through the video, I'm gonna show you how I created a daytime look and then I made it more dramatic as I went on. So you'll be able to see that this palette can be used on a daily basis. I may make another video because honestly, even though there's only six colors, you can do a lot with this palette. In this video, I really tried to simplify these looks for you. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Julie. I'm a 51 year old professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist. My videos range from makeup, hair, and fashion. I'm not a professional clothing stylist, but I'm having so much fun. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All the products that I use in this video are going to be linked in the description box for you. The links will give me a small commission. There's never any pressure. If you do use them, thank you so much for your support. And let's get on with the video. I think I'm going to make it easy and do a warm look and then a cool look on top and maybe I'll pop it up a little bit afterwards. There's only two matte shades in here. Let me show you some swatches. This one is Skin Show Divine Glow. This is Entrapment. And then I've got Sunset Bronze. Then I've got Extreme Aubergine, Algenza. That's pretty. And this one's Night Creature. That was a wimpy swatch. Let me go back to that one. There we go. So really pretty. I'm gonna stop talking and just go for it. I feel like with the TikToks, Reels, and YouTube Shorts, everybody's attention span's getting a little bit shorter as we go, so I'm gonna try not to talk so much. Mine too, by the way. Although I do love listening to people when I'm cooking. <laughs> I'll just put a video on and put my earbuds in. I've already prepped my eyes with Painterly from MAC. And I wanna show you, this is the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. I've been reaching for this every day. It's so nice. It actually looks like a lip gloss. So I wouldn't give it to my husband if he had dry lips, but it's so comfortable. It's not sticky. Sometimes when I use a lip product, it actually makes my lips want more. It's almost like an addiction that my lips get, that I need that moisture. I don't feel that with this. I actually feel like it's doing something. I'm gonna do it in a way that may seem backwards compared to how other artists do it, but I'm gonna start with my lighter color first, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid, kind of, like the first inner half. I think the harder I make an eyeshadow look, the more intimidated you might be. I just wanna simplify it for you and make it not so scary. Okay, then I'm gonna take this one. I keep saying this one, I should actually say the names out loud. I'm gonna use Sunset Bronze on the outer corner and blend it in with my memory, Skin Show Divine Glow. I'm gonna dip back into the lighter one and go back in with a brush and kind of go over the edges with that brush in the center line there. Then I'm gonna go into entrapment, I'm gonna tap it off, and I'm gonna start off in the crease here and the outer corner. If the eyeshadow is gonna show up really dark, this is where I wanna put it. I don't know how this is gonna apply. So this outer corner is the safest place to start. So it's really not that intense. So I'm gonna go back into it, lay the color down there, and then drag. So this is with a soft fluffy brush. This is a BK Beauty 202, but I don't know if you can tell it comes to a little point there. So if I touch it light handed, I can be very particular with where I place it. But then the more I push down, the more it's going to push the brush down to that thicker area of the bristles and it's going to blend it. And it's as easy as that. In my next video, I have a new lash curler to show you. I ordered from this brand that came out with two different sizes. So I'm excited to show you that. I haven't tried it yet, but that will be in a future video. So make sure you subscribe. This is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. I wore a mascara the other day and I was so hot and sweaty. I had a big splooch of mascara on my eyelid and that's because I was sweaty. I thought, oh, that mascara is horrible. I'm using Benefit Brow Powder. I think it's nice to see it all finished. Now I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 210. This is like a smudge brush, a pencil brush, and I'm going back into entrapment, tap it off again, 
and go underneath the lash line. You don't have to do this, but when I do, my eye looks bigger. You'll always see me with some kind of shadow eyeliner underneath. And it's on an angle so that it gives that lift. Lately, I have been so messy with my mascara, but now that it's dry, I can take that right off. Second coat. Now I can clean up any fallout, and this is where I can clean up the edge here if I want. I'm gonna use Dior Skin Correct from my concealer. It is so messy, look it. I should clean that up. Oh well, that's how you can tell it's used. What a difference concealer makes right? Like that instantly brightens up the eye. It went from looking basic to bright. I know there's some people that don't like to wear foundation and concealer, but even a tinted moisturizer will even out your skin tone and bring all the focus to your eyes. You see the difference? Before I start the second eye, I might as well go ahead and do my brow, get that over with. All right, let's go into the fun colors. I'm actually gonna spray my brush this time. This is a BK Beauty A501 brush and just wanna have control over that shimmer. I wanna go into Elegance and this is gonna go first. Same technique, just to keep it simple. I'm going into the first half of the eye. Hmm, yeah, we're here now. I had a different idea, but it might be too late. We'll see. I'm gonna turn that brush around, spray it again, and go into this color right here, which is Night Creature. And again, I'm pulling it over to the center. So it's always gonna go from light to dark. Not always, that was my idea. I should have done a little bit of a different technique, but it's, it's okay. With the Smith 220, any kind of brush like this, it doesn't have to be an expensive one. I'm gonna go into this darker one right here, which is, why? I'm just gonna test myself from now on and see if I can remember it. It is, it's aubergine, extreme aubergine. I got it, phew. All right, and then I'm gonna head right into that outer corner again. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna go in circular motions. So most of it's being deposited there and then I'm gonna work it up and drag it. So more up in that outer corner and then dragging it in. See that color can look scary, but it's not scary. Now I made it a little bit shimmery because I started off with the shimmer. If you don't like that, then you would apply the matte color first, but I kind of like it. And I always feel like there's no rules. I don't mind a little bit of shine in that crease area. It depends. If you have a ton of texture, it might not be a good idea. And then I'm gonna go back over the edges and make sure that it's all blended. This is a Refer 03. This is small, it's short, and because it's short, it's a little bit stiffer, so I'm gonna get more deposit. I'm gonna tap into Extreme Aubergine. I did it. And I'm gonna create a smudgier line right here. Now the same thing, I'm gonna go underneath and use it as my eyeliner. So again, starting off in the outer corner, all the product is being pushed there, and then I'm gonna drag whatever's left on my brush. I'm gonna lighten the pressure of my brush and then drag it in. Never judge a look until it's completed with mascara. I have to go check my chicken, hold on. My chicken's good. I feel like this requires some lashes, and I have the perfect lashes I wanna show you. Because this doesn't have a light matte color, I'm actually gonna use my powder for underneath the brow bone just to clean it up a little bit, especially since I have a shimmer there. Just wanna tidy that up. Now that I'm looking, I feel like I need to clean up my brows just a little bit. Right there is the hole, I see it. No holes allowed. A little bit of concealer. 
It's really important to clean up your under eye when you're wearing purple. It always is important, but especially when you've got purple, you don't want to look like you got a black eye. Look at, I could literally do just a little bit of concealer in these areas and a pinch. If you didn't have foundation, what can you do with concealer? Everything. Especially in the T-zone area where I'm quite red. That's where most of us get red. Such a small amount of makeup. I don't want a ton of bronzer. I need a new one of these. This is the Hoola Light. So if you have fair skin and you find that bronzer is hard for you to find, this one's really good. I used to use it all the time when I worked at Sephora if I had a fair client. It's perfect, it's not too warm. Okay, now let's play. I wanna boost this up quite a bit. I wanna show you what switching your brush can do. So this one is a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, a little bit stiffer. This is the BK Beauty A502. It doesn't have to be this one, but just keep in mind that whenever you make it smaller and smaller and shorter, I guess, it's gonna give you a different application. So I wanna go back into this one right here and I'm gonna focus it in the crease. I wanna deepen it right up. And you see the difference? It's really pretty. And then whatever's left on my brush, drag it in. Now, I didn't tap my brush off. Always tap your brush off. Not bad. I'm gonna wipe this brush off and dip into Extreme Aubergine, tap it off, and I'm gonna deepen this up again. With a bigger pencil brush, this is a Ruffer 26. Back into this one. Because it's bigger, it's gonna give me more smudge underneath. And I'm really not gonna be that careful with it this time. I want it to go nice and smudgy and pull the color down a little bit. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna pull it up into the corner there. Take the excess off and then go under that line and make sure it's nice and blended. I can see that I've got a little area here that hasn't been touched, so I wanna make sure that I get that nice and dark as well. And that's where the proper brush comes in handy because this fits right in that little pocket. Better. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick and this is in Bone. I'm gonna use a brush though, any brush will do. I don't have an actual pencil to go in the waterline that's nude. So I'm gonna use that one. And I've used it before, it works really nice. You see how that brightens it right up. I haven't tried these before. They're the Kiss Impress. I've used the Kiss Falscara before and I love them. You don't feel them on and they're really easy to apply. I ordered a few of these and they all came like this. I wish that there were this many lashes on this side. It looks like you're getting a big pack and you're not. Darn it. So the trick is, is you go underneath your lashes. It's really hard for me to do it at the angle I'm at because I really want to get close to my 10 times mirror. Just want to squeeze that on. That's great. Now, are they all the same size? Hmm. These say that they're good for two to three applications, so make sure you keep this, and then once you take them off, put them back. I've ordered a bunch. Did I get all this? Okay. One is the ILK02, and one is the ILK01. These ones are the 01. Shoot, I really should have paid attention to that. Oh, I have one on my finger. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh no, no, it's still on my eyelash. Where did that come from? Never a dull moment. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Wish me luck. Again, you guys can probably see up my nose. Whoa, that's really long. Do I want it that long? See, sometimes when I put lashes on and they're long, I feel like it hides all of the eyeshadow work that I just did and it closes up my eye. So I guess it just depends on the look you're going for. But to me, this feels a little bit long. Let me put it a little bit closer to the other one. Oh, I think that's better. 
So then I'm going to go ahead and start with the shorter pieces. This one has a little piece of glue stuck to it. Hold on. Oh, both of them came off at the same time. Let's see if I can get it on in one go. Yep. Where's my fancy doodad thing? I think it takes a little bit of practice and I'm also trying to explain it when I'm trying to figure it out, which it always takes me more time. I almost feel like trimming these a little bit, but I'm, yeah, see, it's touchy. <laughs> I'm being a little extra picky. I don't know why, but there's this one lash right there. Oh, and I think I got it. Yep. Giving my lashes a haircut. There. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. This is interesting though. I'm not sure if you can see that there, you see those? Do you see the little excess glue right there and right there? I understand why that's there because it has to stick to the package. Ideally, that would stick to the package and not to the lashes, but it's not a big deal. Okay, let's head to this eye. Yeah, see, the glue is sticking to my tweezer. Let me see if I can cut that off. That's not ideal. Because this is happening, it might make me more apt to just get the regular Falscara lashes instead of the impressed lashes. Only because I don't have that problem with the regular Falscara. I love those. So easy to apply. They look beautiful and they lasted really no harder to apply than these. The difference is, is that you have to apply the glue, but you apply the glue to, ah! See, did I just take the, maybe if I just use my fingers? I bet you that might be easier. Kind of, not really. Oh, that kind of was. Yeah, that was easier. See, I might just leave it like that. See, it happened again. Can you see it? I can see it. So you have to be able to see it. There's a little ball of glue there. Easy to get off, but a bit of a pain. And then I'm pulling it off with my tweezers and then it's sticking to my tweezers. <laughs> and then when I use my tweezers to apply the lashes, oh, it's, it's, yeah. Is it just me? See how this is a bit messy right here? That's where I want to clean it up. So I'm actually going to pop the shorter ones right there. Yeah, that worked. So they still look natural. I just filled it in a little bit. I think I like this side better. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for it and apply another second piece. Somebody's home and I didn't cook dinner. There's Lexi. Okay, my daughter just called and interrupted <laughs> and I had to take it. She's gone. Where is she this week? She's in Kentucky. Last week she was in Utah and I don't know where else she's going to be. So when she travels for work, I pick up the call. Actually, I pick up the call whenever she calls. While I was on the phone with her, I touched up my foundation with the Halo Glow. This is by Smashbox. I really like it. And I'm using Laura Mercier Blur Powder. It's talc free. I love it. I have a couple favorites, but that's in my top three. Maybe I'll go in with this one. This is by Sigma and it is Berry Love. Yeah, I'm going to go in with that one. I haven't used this very often. I'm going to use a really light, flexible brush. Yeah, I think this color is perfect. I didn't want anything too shiny because I have a lot going on for my eyes. So somebody's home in the kitchen. I did the chicken and I didn't cook a vegetable. I'm feeling so guilty right now. Why do I feel guilty? I just do. I like my lip color the way it is, honestly. If anything, I might just put a little bit of lightness in the center. This is Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I think I like that. That's it, guys. I was going to boost this side up a little bit, but my guilt is getting to me. And I think that was my son. He definitely wouldn't have cooked himself a vegetable. I love both of these eye looks. Let me know which one you like better. And also let me know if it helped you. I hope it helps. If you did like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I will link my Instagram handle, my TikTok handle and my Facebook handle. Go follow me over there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.